in this video we are going to learn about how you can save some data in our game and also how you can basically store some data in, for, in our game and we can use that data in future okay now let's start the first thing we found some group input this is totally used for the save and load and etc mode the first blueprint post is save to slot. This uh, blueprint post allow you to save your data in the local database or your local game. And then third, uh, second is load game from slot. Which uh, data you are uh, saved, you can load that data and you can use that data. And third number is does save game exist or not. This blueprint code allow you to verify that are these our save system is exist or not kind of like even if not have we don't have so we maybe need to do something else so at that time you can use this blueprint code or is basically a casting save going uh, actor data that is basically you, you need to create a save game actor to save your or vary your uh, variables and etc more so that is basically that and five number is basically the delayed game in slot some of cases you might be need to delete your stored data like to save some data but you now you don't need so you can reset that data so for that you can use the delete game in slot now let's use them and let's make an example and let's see how we can use them then so first thing is what i'll do is basically i already created an actor okay uh let me just drag and drop it here okay so here's the basically the actor and for showing you the demonstrate that are our save game existing or not or whatever it is okay so simple this is a shape word. okay the first time what will we do let's use a simple code that begin play so in begin play what will we do first we want to now let's make the save system that first we want to save some data so we'll be basically connected with like this that save game by slot okay and then before do that what you need to do is basically we need to basically verify that are this is exist or not so we will be used that does the same game uh, save game is exist or not now we need to give a slot name like let's give that ud that is user data or as save data okay now we will be found a return value at the boolean so let's use that branch and connect it like this so if we doesn't exist this uh, save data so we'll be create that so what we do is basically we'll need one more blueprint code called px save game by object then we'll be connected with false and now we'll be use our save game like by default unreal will give you a save game data but if you want you can create your own self like what you can do basically right mouse and blueprint class and then you can go to all class and search that save and you find the save game and then once you selected that you can select that and then you can create your own like let's give it name that my save game now double click and open you find something like this it's have basically a simple event of nothing else now go to your blueprints and now we can select that here as you can see my save game and then we can ask this so that is kind of like that cast to my save game okay it's pretty similar like this thing okay okay now once you connect it like this now at from at here you can call that variable so just go at here let's now save a variable uh let's save a integer variable let's give it name co color data okay this is basically an integer variable and it will be save that color data like it's one or zero okay then let's go to in blueprints and now at here we can set that so save co color data okay now let's save that color data let's give the value is one then once we do that then we need to connect our save game by slot at here okay so it will be basically execute this and save so now we need to connect the save game object what will be cast and then we need to give the same name what you use so just simply you can copy that and paste that here then if you want you can get a branch for confirmation that yeah if it's are it save or not if it's not it's not necessary but for development purpose and and for i'm showing big um, for learning purpose you can use that so let's give that save done and if it's not uh, then we can get a basically i don't know so let's give you a save uh file field okay compile and save and now if this thing save it will be give us a message and then in future now let's learn that how we can basically load so for that we'll be use that load game from slot if it's true and we'll be simply copy that same and then we'll be cast the same thing so you can duplicate that 
and it like this and once you do that now we can get that so get color color data and then now we can verify that what is it basically if we, let's give it that if it is equals one so let's what will be used is basically we'll be change the uh, the actor color okay so we'll be get our shape color and then let's give it a set material and let's give the material color something else so we can understand that yeah that material has been changed because our value has been saved okay and if it's not so what will we do it will be basically do the same thing but it will be basically just change the material to base color okay if it's false so we can understand that or if it doesn't save or not okay that is this one is for load and this one is for save now for reset data we can use any of our key so basically we need to give the same name so we can if we execute this one so it will be delayed our display so compile and save now let me show you one more thing if you go this one and then if you go in my press settings then go to save and then go to a there you find a save uh, save data so as you can see there's no any save data available because we doesn't we didn't set anything now let's click on play uh let me go in a first person map okay okay that's good we are all in first person map okay so now let's me let me drag and drop this and if i click on play okay as you can see the ball is has been white there's a nothing okay so now let me go in projects as you can see there's a save game folder has been created if i open as you can see which name we give that saved uh, data it's created automatically now the second time if i click on play as you can see the red ball has been changed and it's showing that it's red ball it's mean that yep our game has been successfully load like that red ball uh, the white ball has been changed into red ball so it's mean that our the save system is working like it's basically executing this part so i just hope you understand that how you can need to do this in second time if you want to delete that so you can basically pretty similar just simply execute with this one compile and save and now if i click on play so this has this has been deleted successfully and now if i go to my save folder as you can see there's a no data is available because it's already removed that thing so i just hope you understand how you need to do or how you need to use this blocking code thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video